Alright guys, welcome back to um, my reviews. I am so, so excited to review these. If you guys don't know me, I am a huge lover of Bibles and of planners and journals. I have always been like that. Ever since I was a little girl, I have had so many planners and, um, and Bibles and I am just very blessed. I have been able to have those, but it's just been a joy. Um, to have these things so um i am gonna give a big thanks that prayerful planner um and i have worked together and they provided these items in exchange for my true and honest review so i am very excited to give those to you um and without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right in cellophane plastic and oh my goodness guys it is so <gasps> look at that oh that is so pretty <laughs> that like literally guys if you were to like paint a picture of me this would be it this is so pretty okay let's focus <laughs> so here is um you can see it is i'm not sure if how well you can see it but it is engraved um almost into like this gold um really really pretty accent so pretty it is this beautiful like um it's a cloth overboard for sure oh my goodness and look guys it even has a little thing how neat so you can hold your thing to, which is so important because i always have like papers and stuff in mine and then they fall out so that is awesome that that is an option so i know guys i have not looked at these before this is like an unboxing so fun so um, really quick, if you don't know, I review Bibles and stuff. I really like to look at the Bibles beforehand so I can give you a good review. But I think that, um, I think I'm going to love these. So, I'm just opening them, um, right now. So, okay. So, the first one is, um, the prayerful journal and it belongs to, so that's nice I can put my name there. Um, and it has a little Bible verse here. So, Matthew 9 through 13. Okay, and it even gives you some examples and some how-tos, which is super helpful. Um, so nice. I love how they do that. Okay, promise to pray. Okay, so nice. It has like a, a little promise thing that you can pray. It has like this cute little illustration with some prayers. Um, and then you just hop right into it. I really like this. Okay, so it looks like that this could be your prayers. You circle the day of the week and you write the date and it has a Bible verse at the bottom. Um, you have a praise. So lift your praise to God. You have a rejoice. Three things you're grateful for. Your affirmation. Ooh, that's good. Who does God say you are? Your yield. What can you surrender to God today? Um, emotionally, how are you feeling? That's, I do track that. That is good to retract. Or retract. That is good to track. Um, reflection. List three things that happened today. Uh, that is good too. And forgiveness. What do you need forgiveness for? Uplift. Who can you uplift in prayer? That is really good. And then lesson. What did God teach you? Oh my goodness. That is so nice. Okay. So as I'm looking, it's making more sense. The white is in the morning, as you can see by the symbol. And then this is the evening. So you would essentially use this twice a day, which is really nice. Um, and then it is, that is the journal. That is just, um, I'm pretty sure it's 365 days of prayers and that is just so nice I don't know about you guys but I do I do struggle sometimes um to pray and not get distracted actually all the time let's be real um I do struggle often because I am if you don't know me I'm an Enneagram 6 and I know people have different feelings on Enneagrams but guys I use it just as like a personality test um and it does help me but I am an overthinker I overthink a lot I stress about a lot of stuff um, and I know I shouldn't. I know I should give it to God. But, um, oh, listen to that crack, guys. This is some ASMR. <laughs> um, so I think this is so nice. So it looks like at the end of every week, um, you have a weekly review. Which moment from last week was the most memorable and why? Have any of my actions moved me closer to or further from God? What have I struggled with this week and how can I pray about it? And weekly sermon notes. Oh, that's so good. So if you go to, if you go to church on Sunday or if you stay home because of COVID <laughs> and go to church online, um, you can keep track of all your sermon notes in here, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think that I would love this as much because um, I have a lot of notebooks. 
like I said, I have been collecting them since I was a young girl. I've always loved notebooks, but I have never seen one like this, guys. And I think that this is going to be so helpful for me in my prayer life with the Lord. And as I'm actually um, looking at this right now, I can think of a friend specifically who would um, really benefit from one of these prayer journals. So I think it's really, really, really good. So this, guys, already gets a huge thumbs up. Way to go, prayerful journal. Um, I am so excited to use this. That is the prayerful journal. It definitely has four and thousand thumbs up for me. <laughs> definitely has a stamp approval. So this is what I'm so excited for. This is the prayerful planner. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, wait, I have to scoot the back because you can't see it, but this is like the, the box. The box is huge. And then it looks like it's in, the box is within a box. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. So it says, um, steps to a prayerfully planned day. And it gives you a whole little list. I'm not going to read it because you don't want to hear me talk that much. But if you do want to pause um, and read this how nice and then it's like a nice oh and there's a little note on the back it's a nice card stock and it has a cute little note on the back from prayerful planner um, and this would be nice just to like pin into your planner so i will be definitely keeping this oh my goodness guys stickers look at these stickers how awesome i'm not gonna open them now um but just look how nice so it looks like there's like these cute little stamps at the top some little word stickers, some little pens. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Little churches and Bibles, I love that. All right, now for the finale. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it comes obviously very protected, which is great. Oh my gosh guys i am already in love the color is so pretty oh my goodness guys okay i'm being so dramatic but guys i really really like it oh, it has a little pocket right there oh oh my goodness i'm so dramatic but guys it's so nice okay so it, okay let's just slow down <laughs> okay so prayerful planner same um very similar as the other one it has um who does this planner belong to uh, how do you oh let me show me the frame how to use your planner and then it even has planner request a request if i can speak so date prayers and praise report which is nice uh, my word of the year. Why did you choose this word? My verse of the year. Oh my goodness. Your purpose worksheet. Okay, so you have 2121 goals. Oh, and I do want to say um, this is a 2021 planner, so I unfortunately won't be able to start until then. But it doesn't mean I can't um, look at it every day until then either. Um, let's see. And then it just has a blank page of notes and it says plans for January. So verse of the month, prayer for the month, grateful for playing for goals for the month. So faith, family, fitness, and finance, and then habits. Okay. So for example, like read your Bible every day, you could write that down. Or for me, I mean, I, in my planner and stuff, I do a lot of, a lot of habits that I like to track, but make your bed. But if this is specifically for prayer and stuff, you could keep it that way. Oh my goodness, look how nice this is. Look at the beautiful, let me show you, the beautiful gold tabs. I'm not sure if you can see that. So nice. And it has um, a full calendar. Okay, oh my goodness. This is awesome. So it, it's literally daily. So you have a priorities, a planet, a praise, a physical health, a post-it, and a prayer. So nice. This is so cool. And I think this is great. Um, if you are a list doer, you can write your list. You can make your priorities. 
you know, if you run, I've been running and walking. If you want to do that, you can. Oh my goodness, just look how nice this is. So nice. Guys, I really, really like it. It is a beautiful planner. So nice. And I like how you have enough room to like, I, you know, I'm like a big calligraphy here. Um, and I love how it's spiral bound because you can just flip it over and run on either side, which is great. Maybe not as great for a lefty, but for me, it is awesome. Um, and so many lefties really just kind of learn how to <laughs> work around at this point. Wow, that is just nice. And the, guys, the paper is so thick. And every, it looks like every um, day there is a different Bible verse. So, so fun. Wow, my goodness, how nice. Now guys, I have a lot of planners. I have seen a lot of planners. I have a bougie planners. I have ring planners with inserts. I have a lot. But I think this planner, who would it be good for? I think this planner would be good for somebody who wants something all together, right? So if you really do want your, your priorities, your planning, um, and like your prayer all in the same thing and you don't mind to carry something with you, I think this is awesome. Okay, I will say out of the two, they both are phenomenal. But I think I am most excited for the prayerful journal just because um, it tracks your prayers every day. Um, and I think that is something that I desperately need to be able to track my prayers and, and to keep track of that and focus on the good and not dwell on the negative. So I am so excited for this. Um, I also love this. I am very, very thankful um, that I was able to receive it in exchange for a review. And guys, can you, I mean, it is just, it's beautiful. Like, can you get over how pretty it is? I just want to do a quick thank you again to um, Prayerful Planner for providing these wonderful, awesome items for me, guys. I am so blessed that I get to work with wonderful people um, in the Christian industry who can provide awesome products to help us develop our faith because that's the point of all this, right? To develop our faith. So thank you so, so much. You guys have been great to work with and I am so excited to use these to grow my faith. Remember guys that the Bible is not about you. It is how you can learn, grow, and serve Jesus. I pray that um, this was very helpful for you. I will link all the info below um, on Purple Planner and how you can find them um, and get one for yourself. So thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you guys have a great day and God bless. See you all.